Welcome back to AWOW TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our post notifications so you stay updated whenever we drop a video. Also like and share this video with family and friends. Hey guys! Welcome back to AWOW TV. We drop videos every day and you can stay connected by subscribing and turning on the post notification bell. When we lose loved ones, the depth of hearts cannot be described. There is this automatic vacuum in our hearts. But thanks to God for always filling us up whenever we break down. Today, we'll be talking about three pastors' wives that left a golden footprint on earth before passing on to glory. As always, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for this video, subscribe as we proceed. At number 1, we have Bimbo Odukoya. Abimbola Rosemary Bimbo Dukoya was born on September 12, 1960. She was the Nigerian pastor and televangelist who got married to the founder of the Fountain of Life Church, Pastor Taiwo Odukoya. Bimbo Odukoya, often called Pastor Bims, was a receiver of over 60 national and international awards for her contribution to nation building, the development of her country, Nigeria, and the West Africa sub region, and also for leadership as a woman of high moral standards and a role model to many. Bimbo Dukoya was a mother of three, an exceptional woman that radiates the light of God everywhere she goes. She was a writer, popular televangelist, highly sought conference speaker, youth mentor, and also a marriage counselor. She was one of the several individuals chosen by Samsung to represent Nigeria in carrying the Olympic torch in Athens, Greece at the 2004 Olympic Games. But sadly, she died as a result of the Sosuliso airline flight 1145 crash on December 11, 2005. Next on our list is Abiodun Kumui. Born to the Olua family of Epe on January 7, 1952, Abiodun attended Baptist Primary School Surulere in Lagos. She studied business and secretarial studies at the Federal College of Education at Koka, Yaba, Lagos. On September 13, 1980, in Lagos, Abiodu married her Bible study teacher, Pastor Williams Folorisho Kumui, and the marriage was blessed with two sons, Jeremiah and John. Pastor Abiotu was fondly called Mommy or Mama by members of the church. She spearheaded the establishment of the Christian Women Mirror magazine. And through that ministry, multitude of women were saved from their sins and they also obtained other Christians' experiences of sanctification and Holy Ghost baptism. Abiodun Kumui was an energetic, dynamic, and visionary woman. But sadly, she was unable to attend the Easter Church Retreat in the year 2009 because of her illness. She died on Saturday, April 11, 2009 in her room after watching her husband's sermon during the retreat that was transmitted to her by satellite in her home at the International Bible Training Center Ayobo Ipaja, a suburb of Lagos State, Nigeria. And finally, at number 3, Ibiduni Utua Igodalo. Late Ibiduni Utua Igodalo 
was born on the 19th of July 1980 in Oyo State, Ibadan, to the late Olalei Ajayi family. She moved on to study microbiology at the University of Lagos at Koka before she further got training in business management from the Lagos Business School. Ibidunia Ajayi participated in a beauty contest which she eventually won and was crowned Miss Lux Nigeria. That was indeed the beginning of her new stage in life. Biduni was married to Pastor Itua Igodalo, the senior pastor of Trinity House, Lagos. She was also a renowned and successful event planner in Nigeria. She founded Elizabeth R, a PR and event management company, in the year 2003. She also went ahead to launch her luxury 4000 capacity event center, the Duchess, in the year 2014, and also had the bridal store Avance. Friday. Her event company Elizabeth R was in charge of decorating isolation centers during the COVID-19 outbreak in Nigeria in the year 2020. She had traveled to Potako to complete one of the projects, but well, sadly she died in a hotel room in Potako in the early hours of June 14, 2020, and the cause of death was ruled to be cardiac arrest. We cannot say that they are all dead. They're just away. With a cherry smile and a wave of hand, they have all wandered into an unknown land. We pray that their souls will continue to rest in perfect peace and their family will forever be comforted. If you're watching our video for the first time, indicate in the comment section so we can give you a shout out. As always, don't forget to subscribe, leave a beautiful thumbs up for this video and also turn on the post notification bell. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.